Hello, good morning, afternoon, or evening. What is up, my friends, families, and them hidden friends? <laughs> Just something a little weird today, random. I'm starting off my video on the bus, as everyone can see. How you guys doing today? Now, the reason I'm doing this today, and this is probably going to be a continuing thing, is the big bus is infinitely close to being done. Now, we're not going to finish tomorrow or within the next week, but I do see us being done either by the end of this month or by the beginning of next month. Everything on the interior, that is. The exterior becomes a whole nother beast at a later time. <laughs> but the interior, building it out, it's infinitely close to being done, which is awesome. But then that, that got me thinking, what am I going to do? Where does that leave me? Because all my content currently is with Isaac and Jelena out on the bus. So that's why I'm starting all my videos off from here on out with me in the bus, talking with you, getting to know you a little better. <laughs> Because eventually, once we do start traveling, I'm going to primarily be in my bus and we're going to be doing things, you know? As for my travel plans, I have seen a lot of people commenting, asking. You guys know that the bus is getting close to being done as well. I have no idea. I can make plans, but every time I do, they seem to get destroyed. So, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen in the future. Thank you guys for worrying about it and here to let you know. But I do plan to travel with them for a amount of time. Whether that's a long amount or a small amount, we'll figure that out. But I definitely need to start getting out more videos for you guys. So yeah, that's how it is. This is the bus, friends. This is the bus. We in the bus. Another thing that's pretty exciting. That pink thing you saw is a gift from my mother, by the way. It's super bright and I realized that. Right now, I have taken the couch out. With Jelena's help, primarily Jelena, we built this couch and we did it in a way where I was very inexperienced and did not know what I was doing or what I wanted to do and Jelena gave me the easiest and cheapest method. The way I made my cushions before is I put a piece of board underneath, like a flat OSB board and then wrap the fabric around it and stapled it to the board yes yes i did that with both the backboard and the cushion that you sit on well i'm taking away that osb it makes the couch very very heavy so instead i'm just gonna have the cushions to sit on it's gonna make it easier to move those cushions out of the way and i can get underneath i've already started reorganizing my bus i've changed a lot of stuff there's more storage underneath now it was an empty space but now i'm i'm making proper use of it and now i'm actually able to get underneath my couch as well because once those cushions are done that way i won't have a heavy osb board underneath them it's just straight fabric and cushion which is awesome it's exactly what i needed just giving you guys that update so before i get out there with isaac i went and checked with him he doesn't really need my help today except a little later on him and Jolene are doing their own thing I am doing my own thing as well now on to our next segment I have gotten some stuff through my wish list I don't know by who yet I haven't checked into all that but let's do it let's unwrap together alrighty so the first thing we have is going to be another pair of pants unfortunately they sent it just like this and I'm not sure that um, it came with any information about who sent it. I'm about to scan a QR code here to see whether it does give me any information. That's unfortunate. So it looks like I am unable to figure out who sent these pair of pants, but either way, thank you for them. Open those a little later. Next, we've got our box. Always nice to have a random screw around. <laughs> it cuts right into it. OMG. Somebody did send me a $25 debit gift card. Thank you so much. That'll definitely help. <laughs> I actually have to go fill up my diesel tank a little later. So that is awesome. Let's see. Oh, 
So this is a gift from Stacy A. Eastmond, wishing you a success in your life's journey. Well, thank you so much, Stacy. That right there, bam, I now have diesel for my heater and I appreciate that so much. Thank you. Stacy, you are the person. <laughs> thank you again. And we got another big one. What could this be? Uh -oh. Pulling this out. <gasps> oh, yes. Yes, just what I needed. Thank you so much. I wonder if this says who this is from. This is awesome. So the water filter. So now when I actually do start traveling, all I need is a hose, which I'll go buy from somewhere. And I can now film up, uh, film up, <laughs> fill up my water tank with filter water. Thank you so much. Oh no. Okay. Well, unfortunately, another case of they did not put a note with the item. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Re-jumping in real quick. Just let you know that water thingy here, that was also a gift from Stacy A. Eastmund. Thank you so much. I found the paper. <laughs> it was hidden inside the item. Just wanted to give credit where credit's due. Thank you guys once again. I appreciate all three gifts. You guys have no idea just how helpful these really will be for me. Well guys, that'll end off the segment in the bus. Uh, hopefully you get used to seeing more of it. The tour is on its way. Now that I'm having the cushions remade, I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer, but everything in the bus is done except for one other thing that I'm thinking about adding. We'll see, it doesn't match the buses like overall look so it's really hard to figure out how to put it in here and make it look like it should belong in here <laughs> but other than that let's move on back at it again out here in the big buzz with isaac today at the good old duo so we have several missions to accomplish today and you know what? Instead of getting into my long monologues that I love, missions will pop up as we go. Enjoy the ride. I hadn't moved because the first mission already started. I went ahead and got breakfast this morning. Isaac went ahead and started on the first mission, which is to get this seatbelt down. The seatbelt is the only reason why electrical hadn't been like dedicated yet. Down good, solid. Gonna need a pencil. Smooth progress the entire way. We got the seatbelt accomplished. 
the reason why I'm lost for words is this was an all day thing. All day. I personally thought this was going to be a quick type thing, you know, an hour, maybe hour and a half at most. Boy was I wrong. <laughs> Crazy. But there is a seat belt, as you can see little Ember's car seat here, strapped down. It is golden, it's to the frame, it ain't moving. And then Isaac also did another install so you can have another seat belt right here. So Jelena will have her seat belt and little Ember car seat will work just fine. So this is awesome, pretty exciting. Uh, apparently from Isaac's words, this is now drivable. Little Ember can be put in here after cushions are on the couch and bam, they can take off, do what you gotta do. Cool. Next task, Isaac's gonna go ahead and start epoxying the countertop. So this boy right here might have a countertop coming up in a couple days. You don't know. Stick around and find out. What you got there, Isaac? Seti packs. Sweet. Hot. Getting that countertop ready. That's right. It looks so cool once this process starts. Nice. Can't wait. So we came across some complications. The epoxy mix, you had two different materials. Well, one of the pour that you pour into mix, you can't see how much you're actually mixing in, or at least Isaac couldn't. So he just decided to pour it all straight into one of the cups. Well, that wasn't big enough, so we rushed, and now we are using a bucket. So, yeah! Guys, an exciting day. Yesterday, we ended up getting that couch fully done, the lid down, getting it ready for electrical and some other things, epoxy as well. Today though, as we have to let that epoxy sit and dry, we're finally making it to the electrical and I am excited. When I first started out here, I had no idea what was going on and Wadi and Isaac build the electrical, it just did not click in my head at all. <laughs> so if you ask me to recreate that, I definitely probably wouldn't be able to. But now we're getting to the electrical, the brains of all the equipment. Right here on this good old good, good, good gold table. Some big stuff. And to learn what a DC to DC looks like. I'm most excited to learn how to install this as I still plan to get one as well. But today is a monumentous day. I believe the framing's finished except for some like doors and whatnot, but that's cosmetic. The actual framing is like done. So we're starting on something different today, which is exciting. Looks like Isaac's been a busy body. He got a lot done while I was busy doing my own thing. Wowzers. Hello, we meet here at the end of the video. If you guys made it to this point, awesome. Thanks for watching so far. So, we ended up getting to learn how to epoxy. And also how not to epoxy. 
<laughs> Isaac was a great teacher for both. Surprisingly, epoxying is not really that hard. It's more you just need like the space to do it so it doesn't get interrupted by dust and or debris of any sort. But I have to say, watching Isaac dump all of the epoxy in one mad bucket, <laughs> it was a pretty entertaining time. Big news guys, or news to say the least. I am looking to sell or trade my bus. <clears throat> I'm looking for something that I can stand up in. Now my bus is built, nice, heating, electrical, all that jazz. And honestly, if it was one that I could stand up in all the way, I'd want to keep it for years to come. But sadly, it's not something I can stand up in and that's becoming a problem on my back. Last two days, it's been hard to even bend over. <laughs> so that bus is getting just a tad too small. Leave a comment below on that jazz. Uh, the selling price is going to be 15,000. That's my future plans. If I'm able to finally, uh, if I'm able to sell that bus, I definitely plan to get a bus either that's tall enough that I can stand in, or I might actually go to the box truck route. I remember Jelena talking to me about that way back when, like almost a year, year and a half ago at this point. <laughs> but a box truck that I could stand in does not seem like a bad idea at all. I'd get one of the ones that have the door in between so I can just go from sitting and driving right to my home. That would be awesome. So if anyone knows anything, hit me up, leave a comment below. I'll definitely be keeping a hawk's eye on that comment section. But with that, let's check out this epoxy. It is amazing. I did not know that Live Edge could actually turn out to look that nice. It's my first time ever working with Live Edge and epoxy. And when you put them two together, wow, the results turn out. <laughs> but I want to thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you made it this far, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate each and every single one of you. I hope that you guys have a blessed and wonderful day. Peace.